Okay guys, so let's make some curried mushroom, cabbage, and tomatoes. It's just a little side dish that I'm going to make. So I'm going to put some oil here in my pan. I'm going to add in my curry. Whoa. I'm just gonna cook our curry for about a minute or two. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my onion and seasoning peppers. I probably have about maybe six seasoned peppers here and a piece of onion. I'm going to add a little more oil to this, some coconut oil, and I'm going to fry up this onion. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to be adding in my tomatoes, cabbage, and mushrooms. I'm going to add in my garlic. This is about four cloves of garlic. I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk and then I'm going to cover this and allow it to, to steam down. So the coconut milk gives me a little sauce so that I, I can eat this with some tortillas or flatbread. So we want this to cook down nicely. If you want it spicy, you can add some pepper to it. All right, so I'm just going to cover this and allow it to, to cook down. I'm going to add a little bit of jaggery powder to my curry. Jaggery powder is a raw cane sugar. The reason why I added a little bit of jaggery powder was because the tomatoes that I used, they were a little bit acidic. Um, those were tomatoes that I picked from my tree green because I had, to, um, I had to uproot the plant and it had some green tomatoes on it. So I just left it to ripen. But when you, when you don't leave it to ripen on the vine itself, the tomatoes tend to be a little more acidic than if you allowed it to sun ripen. So just to cut down a little bit of that acidity, why I added a little bit of the jaggery or raw cane sugar. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of um, coriander powder. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon powder to my curry as well. You can also add some green seasoning to this as well. So guys, this is a nice side dish that you can have along with as a dip for your flatbread or your tortillas or even your roti.